Before there was Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega's answer to Mario was Alex Kidd, and as someone who shares the same name with what could have been, I feel the most qualified to say that Sonic was certainly an improvement. Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX is the remaster of Alex's first outing and involves the titular hero defeating Jenkin the Great and saving the kingdom of Redaxian. It's simplistic, but it's a remaster of a 35 year old game, so what did you expect? And not to reveal too much of this review too soon, but the phrase, what did you expect, will certainly be a running theme. If you grew up with the Sega Master System, this game would be wonderfully nostalgic. You can see how far video games have come in the span of 35 years with the press of the ZR trigger, and that's a wonderful thing. Speedrunners rejoice! Alex Kidd at Miracle World contains some truly bite-sized levels, and if your helicopter doesn't crash within the first 10 seconds, you could probably beat some of them within a single minute. There are full playthroughs of the original version on YouTube that only go for under 40 minutes, and considering how challenging this game is, that's impressive. Alex Kidd in Miracle World has one of the most unique boss fight structures ever, with not so randomised versions of Junk and Pon. You do end up fighting the bosses a second time you meet them, spoilers for a 35 year old game, but don't fret, you'll still get to play Junk and Pon. This game is hard. It's so hard that it scoffs at Dark Souls and eats Super Meat Boy for breakfast. But it's not the good kind of hard, rather it's the kind of hard that comes as a result of being a video game from the 80s. The platforming is floaty, the range of attack is minimal, and not playing with the newly added Infinite Lives mode on will lead to many game overs. Towards the end of the game, there was one stupidly ambiguous puzzle with hanging spikes that forced me to look at 15 year old walkthroughs, and they are not written well at all. At the very least, they could have provided descriptions for items in the shop. I mean, how was I supposed to know that the ring gives you a ranged attack before I bought it? As much as I can respect the ambitious scope of a game made in the same year that Ferris Bueller's Day Off hit cinemas, I know right, cinemas, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX is a 35 year old game with a brand new coat of paint and a shiny $20 price tag. It's way too faithful to the original and we've had three and a half decades of improvements in video game development to show the cracks in Sega's first mascot's initial adventure. So to summarize, yep, this is Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to support us even further, where for just $1 per month, you can get our fortnightly podcast two days early.